blessed day and a miraculous day stay tuned with charming design today i'm going to do a simple kaftan bubu kaftan bubu is the same thing just take your seat watch carefully join me to this tutorial please subscribe share my video and like also comment is allowed make your comment ask questions let's do this i'm using two and a half yard material called rikra it stretch a lot so i'm marking the dip of the neck and the wideness of the neck the dip is two inches the wideness is four inches but the actual length i supposed to use is three but because of this is a rikra material I decided to short it by one inches because I know it draws a lot. So I'm just giving this as a notice. Whenever you are cutting a lycra material or a stretchy material, please monitor this. Reduce the length or the the size that you're supposed to use the normal size for the length. The next step I'm taking is to mark a given a mark on the shoulder which is 8. My normal shoulder is 8, is 16. So I'll go ahead and mark the arm whole length. That is what I'm doing right now. After that, I'll mark down the bust. I'm using 20. 20 times 4 is 80. I really want it to be so big on me. So the booboo is very free. Um, I'll go ahead and continue marking until I get to the full length of this gown. The full length of this gown is 42. The armhole length, I'm using 12 because I wanted to give a space for my armhole. It's a booby free gown. So you can make it up to 13 is okay. 13 is okay, depend on your choice. But 10, 11 is the normal length. But for me, I just want it to be lengthy. Mark the shape of the canoe neck on the booboo -boo. if you can use your free hand it's okay use your free hand to mark it if you cannot look for a compass to use it to mark the canoe neck it's not the normal round neck we know this is a canoe neck so that is it for the neck Just mark your hip. i'm marking my hip here and my new length this is going to serve as the beginning of your butterfly and the end of your butterfly being the butterfly booboo i'm sewing so when you do not mark uh, your hip it might not give you the style or your booboo might go down much or go up much so you must mark your hip Curve your butterfly, take your time, give it a nice curve because remember it's what you curve that you are going to cut. So if you do not take your time to um, carve it very well, it might give it another shape after carving it or after cutting it. So take your time and do that please. You see me doing my own. I'm marking the slide of the shoulder. I'm using three inches. I want it to go sliding very well. That's why I'm using two, three inches. You can use two inches, you can use one and a half, but three inches will make it to go sliding very well because it's what I want. The shape of three inches is not the same as the shape of two inches. Try it whenever you are marking your bubble because this is a long uh booboo and that the my elbow it's going to tight me so that's one of my reasons of giving it this kind of shape so i will able to get that tightness on my elbow and down here at my uh, uh, my armpit side it will be free so that is this place go ahead and cut it off 
and go to the machine and switch it off. Then you have seen me curve the butterfly styles. Then the second style on this butterfly is that I have a wave rope under it after my nails. Remember I told you that from the shoulder to my nail is 35. So the other inch of it, I'm using it for the rope under it. So I used one inches for each of them. I marked the first line which is the third six and marked it down so that i can get the line accuracy see the line i'm done marking all so i'll go ahead and cut it for me to have accuracy rope equal rope and equal size that is the style for this please like my video share it and make your comments i'm expecting my subscribers to ask me questions learn from tommy design this is the end of this tutorial